And will the next two celestial events, the March 25th new moon or full moon and the April 8th solar eclipse will help us releasing more of this trauma and bringing in new energies? Well, it it will, um, you know, because we get aligned and, we, and these new higher frequencies come in. Um, and so, the, and that's why we're seeing so much chaos right now is because the higher frequencies are coming in and into a, a environment, whether it's, you know, outside environment or inside environment that is vibrating at a lower, slower rate because of the programming, because of the matrix, because of all of these beliefs that are, that were less than these beautiful beings of love and light that we truly are. And so when a higher frequency comes into a lower environment, it causes that lower, everything in that lower environment to start vibrating faster and faster. And it's, and that is like a detox situation. So we start releasing the lower frequencies. But for us, what that can look like is a lot of trauma and drama, you know, because if whatever your fears are, whatever your guilts are, can be manifested in front of you, so that you have to face it. You know, so that's one way to go through the transition. But I have um, been offering for many years because I saw this coming is a more graceful way to, to detoxify yourself. And so that's why I created some of the programs that I created to help people go through it in a more graceful way to alchemize those lower frequencies so before they have a chance to manifest as a drama in front of us. And what would, what it will happen with those who want or are not able uh, and willing to face their trauma, their fears, how will they end up throughout this time period? Yeah, it depends about, it depends on how much how much density they have and how resilient they are to, you know, dance with these energies. And, um, you know, and then it also depends on the soul, you know, the soul decides, you know, what, what experiences you're going to have, what, how much you can take <laughs> of this detox. And, you know, it makes decisions about when to leave, this physical earth and when and how. So a lot of souls will say, okay, you know, you're, you've done what you came here to do, you're complete. And you your body isn't in a position to handle um, gracefully these frequencies. So we're going to, you know, exit. And we're seeing a lot of that happen right now. Um, so yeah, some bodies won't be able to handle it, which is Okay, they're going. They, you know, the the soul is eternal, and so yes. they're just going to, you know, incarnate into, you know, another place that where it's their next level of evolution. Yes, and for those who are willing to put in the work for the um, inner uh, and higher vibration, will they be able to? Um, work and improve their conscious manifestation as well yeah if you yeah you're because if you have done that inner work and you you allow or you work on raising your vibration so that it continues to match the earth's ascension then you're you're going to raise up into the fifth dimensional environment and consciousness and that's when a lot of the metaphysical gifts, you know, really come online. The other thing that these high frequencies are doing are activating a lot of our, what I call divine DNA. So we, we are divine humans and we have that fifth dimensional uh, capacity in our DNA. 
So as we raise our vibration, more of that comes online and you do have access to those, you know, what we've called metaphysical gifts that are really natural to who we are. Thank you.